Hello everyone, I'm Nasis and welcome back to my channel. Well, today is my off day and it's another Tagalog, Tagalog day, Tagalog Monday. Anyway, today um, is Thursday here in Nigeria and since it's my off day, I decided to schedule an appointment for collaboration with one YouTuber in this town. So sabi ko nga sa asawa ko, uh, may schedule tayo ha ng Thursday because I need to tell him in advance kasi nga may mga appointment din siya and if it comes to appointment like this, hindi naman niya ako pinapayagan na ako lang na mag isa lang kasi nga I'm going to meet other people and besides yung location namin medyo malayo sa Nike Lake. Ito kasi medyo matagal kong pinag-isipan nito. I met him last March, syempre sa YouTube. Actually, ako yung unang nag-message sa kanya. Kasi that time, naghahanap ako ng pwedeng makipag-collaborate sa akin. I think that time, kakatapos ko lang makipag-collaborate kay Chief Vera. And I noticed na, oh, pag may collaboration ka pala, mabilis tumaas ang, ano mo, <laughs> ang views mo, ang mga subscribers mo, ba? Kasi parang, pinopromote ka niya, pinopromote mo siya. So, that time, sabi ko, makipag-collaborate nga ako. Sino ba itong mga YouTubers dito sa Inugo? So, naghanap ako. Mini-message ko sila. And then, ito, eh, siya lang yung nag-reply sa akin. Nag-message muna ako sa kanya. Nag-comment ako sa kanya sa YouTube. Tapos, I think we exchanged email address. Tapos, nag-email siya sa akin. Sabi niya, he's open for collaboration. Tapos, sabi ko, sige. Patay ko lang, mukhang palabas siya. So, wait lang ha. Urong ko lang yung kotse. Okay, so hindi na nila pinaurong sa akin yung kotse. Sabi nila, they don't want to disturb me. <laughs> well, ganun talaga sila sa mga foreigners dito. They want you to be comfortable. Okay, anyway, so ito na nga. Nakipag-communicate na sa akin. Sabi niya, he's open for collaboration. So, natuwa naman ako, di ba? So, syempre, before ka makipag-collaborate, iti-check mo muna yung profile nila. Yung kanilang channel. Tapos nakita ko, ano pala siya? Member siya ng LGBTQ community. So, homosexual siya. Actually, he consider uh, himself as uh, ano eh, yung queer, di ba? LGBT. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, uh, transgender, then yung Q is queer. So, sabi niya, queer daw siya. So, like, okay. Then, after that, of course, I need to talk to my husband. Kasi, kung ako lang naman ang, kung ako lang naman ang tatanungin, no? Walang problema sa akin yun. Ano ba tayo? <laughs> diba? Kasi, I'm a Filipino and we all know in the Philippines we are very open with the LGBTQs. At saka ang dami kong kaibigan na member ng LGBTQ. Besides that, yung aking playmate, as in kababata, as in siguro nung pinanganak kami, kasi same year kami pinanganak eh, but I think mas matanda ako ng ilang buwan lang. So, nung time na talagang since one year old, talagang ano na kami, playmates na kami noon. So, siya, I think hindi siya naging confused eh. Sa, kung ano ba siya, kung gay ba siya or hindi, no? Hindi siya naging confused kasi mga 5-6 years old kami, parang alam na niya, di ba? So, kaya ano ako dyan? Wala akong problema sa ganyan. And besides, my very close friend, my best friend since I was in kinder, di ba? Ano siya eh, uh, member din siya ng LGBTQ. So, sabi ko, walang problema sa akin, but I need to talk to my husband. Although, my husband is also open-minded na din. Diba? Kasi nga, syempre, nanggaling na siya sa Pilipinas, syaka na-meet naman niya yung mga friends ko. And then, araw-araw, diba? Is there any day in the Philippines, in Manila, na wala kang ma-encounter na, diba, na member ng LGBTQ? So, we are really open with that. So, walang problem. So, sinabi ko sa asawa ko, ang, ang sabi lang sa akin ng husband ko, parang, are you sure hindi ma-apektohan ma yung image mo? Natawa na lang ako kasi image. <laughs> Tawa lang ako. Sabi ko, I don't think so naman. So, medyo nakahold siya. Kumbaga, hindi ko pa siya talaga sinasagot kung kailan kami pwedeng mag-ano, mag-collab. Kasi medyo tinitimbang ko pa. Alam nyo, alam nyo naman, di ba, sa social media, especially, I'm here in Nigeria. Di ba nga, alam naman natin na sa Nigeria is hindi sila ganun ka-accepted pa. Di ba? Although open-minded na rin sila dito, pero sobrang dami pa rin ng tao na ayaw talagang no, it's a very big no di ba nga nung merong nanalong ano, um, super serena na taga Nigeria ang sabi niya, dito sa Nigeria kinukulong sila 14 years imprisonment, so kung napanood niyo yung vlog ko malalaman nyo, di ba, kung talagang ganun nga 
So anyway, naka-hold yun until finally, we discuss it and sabi na sa ako, sige, okay na. Kaso naman, ang problema, nagkasakit. So ayoko naman siya i-meet ng may sakit and then, after yung nagpapagaling pa, so medyo pinapatagal ko kasi di ba that time talaga usong-uso yung COVID. So hindi mo rin masabi. So sabi ko, hindi, pagaling ka muna. Then later on, nag-schedule na naman kami because meron akong na-receive na comment ang sabi sa akin na sis, maybe you can ano, parang makipag-collab ka sa member ng LGBTQ dyan parang gusto nila malaman they're so curious kung ano bang buhay ng mga gays dito kung nag-open ba talaga sila so sabi ko, sige then I contacted him again and then for some reasons hindi na naman natuloy tapos sabi ko, sige hintayin na lang natin kung kailan. And then, parang I forgot about it na. Hindi ko na masyadong binabother yung sarili ko about that. Basta, vlog lang, vlog lang ako ng vlog. Until last week, meron nakipag-collab sa akin. May nag-message sa akin taga dito. Gusto daw niya akong interviewan. Sabi ko, sige, go. Then after that, naisip ko, teka lang, may mga pending collaborations pa ako eh. Dalawa. So, kinunta ko muna siya. Then, nag-set nga kami na appointment. And then, my God, chinek ko yung kanyang vlog. And then, medyo na ano ko na, nag-open na siya sa tatay niya. Alam mo yun. So, please watch my vlog regarding that one. Kasi talagang, ma-enlighten tayo. Ayan na yung asawa ko. Bumili ng paint yan. And siguro ma-enlighten tayo kung ano ba talaga ang buhay nila dito. Diba? So, bye bye. And ayan na yung asawa ko. <laughs> Nakasuit pa yan ha. My God, bibili lang naman ng pintura. Kasi he was so disappointed yesterday. Kasi nga yung paint na binili niya para sa bahay namin, hindi ka kulay nung wall namin. <laughs> Ayaw niya kasing kumuha ng ano yun, na magpipinta. Dun sa loob ng bahay, sabi niya. <laughs> Gusto niya siya na lang daw. Although yung labas, syempre pinapintura namin kasi sobrang laki. So yung inside, madali lang naman yon Tsaka, hindi naman lahat ng rooms, no? Ang pipinturahan namin. Kumbaga, yung ano lang, yung sala lang, tsaka yung kwarta. No. Uh, it's true. <laughs> yeah, thank you. You know, they were trying to bring out the car over there. So, they don't want to disturb me. But I went out, I asked them, do you want me to move my car? This has no need. said, okay. Yeah, so with me is my husband. Yeah, you see him wearing suit. Very formal today. Parang siya yung may interview ako naman. Okay. We're actually here in Kenyatta. Well, Kenyatta is a place where you can buy all those uh, construction construction materials. See Chinese? Uh, that one is Chinese, as in real, real Chinese. Me, I'm not Chinese, but they're calling me Chinese. <laughs> there was a time in, in ShopRite, right? I was buying a meat pie. Somebody told me that, oh, there's Chinese fried rice here. <laughs> I just love some. Because hindi ako in check. Filipino po ako. Okay, so. Yes. Uh huh. You know, it's not easy to come here in Kenyatta because of the traffic. The traffic here is too much. They says that uh, there is no money here in Nigeria. <laughs> but to tell you honestly, uh, from this type of crowd traffic that you can see here, a lot of people are buying um, construction materials. So there's a lot of people who are building houses here in Nigeria. Anybody who says there is no money in Nigeria is dreaming. There's money here. He's deceiving himself. Hmm. He's or herself. There's mm. too much money here in this country. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to independence layout. Okay. Uh -uh. Okay now guys. Later again. Let my husband concentrate in driving. And let me entertain him. Okay? Later.
Hello guys! So, we are here now in Nikki Lake. Uh, medyo madumi yung lake <laughs> kasi nga umulan and sabi nila may crocodile daw dito. <laughs> Ewan ko lang. Well, anyway, um, we're just waiting dun sa kasama ko na I mean, kasama ko na magkakolab. Or yung kakolab ko. So, we're just waiting for him. So, ngayon yung asawa ko kumakain ayaw niya magpa-video kasi nga kumakain siya. Okay. So, yun lang. Well, I'm just waiting for him. <sighs> okay, guys. So, we're going home now. My husband is so tired. We're just here to buy roasted pork. And... Porky, porky. <laughs> We're supposed to eat roasted chicken, my favorite in, in that side in Nike. But we need to bring the the guy. Um, yung ka collaborate ko kailangan namin dalhin sa side na to kasi nga wala siyang ma book na na car, just like a uh, Uber or Grab. Bolt naman ang tawag nila dito, so wala siyang ma book so we need to at least drop him because I'm the one who invited him. Okay? So anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying with me today, staying with us. So, please don't forget to subscribe. Yung mga hindi pa po nagsusubscribe dyan. And don't forget to like, okay? Bye! Bye!